Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about EDH and the betrayal. So I was playing EDH with my friends uh, over the Christmas break. And you kind of know that one dude who's going to betray you. And it's only a matter of when. I remember one of the quotes, and I think it was in Basin or Plane Shift, that said, it wasn't a matter of if he would betray us, it was a matter of when he would betray us. I think that was a quote from Urza. And EDH is such a fun format because even if you have very weak decks or you haven't played Magic in a long time, you can win. You can still win EDH as long as the people with the better decks are hated upon quickly. And since everyone in my play group understands who's playing what, half the people, we have a play group of 12 people at any given time, six people will probably show up to our event. The reason we have 12 is because it's not everyone can show up. Some people have you know, to work late night. Some people have, you know, for me, some nights I have to do development. Uh, I have to make sure our app is running properly and that takes some of my time. But when you're playing EDH, the reason it's so fun is because of that betrayal mode where you don't need to be the, have the best deck. You don't need to have the best cards. You just need to survive long enough for everyone else to kill each other. So out of the play group of 12 people, we all have the same decks. So we have the combo deck, we have the aggro deck, we have the, um, I call it group hug deck, but it has code goes by a different name. People have the artifact deck, and those are the decks people are running, and at any given time, there will be a combo deck out there, a group hug deck, and we're playing six people. Six people in my, experience is the ideal number of people to play EDH with because you can have a very weak deck and still win with six people and someone can have a very strong deck and be the first one out and that in EDH there's no other format like it where you don't need the best cards you don't need the best strategy you just have to do enough to win the game at the end and if you don't present yourself as a danger I, re I remember I remember a Survivor, a lot of times people will take the weakest member with them, like the strongest member will take the weakest member, but then every, the strongest member voted everyone off, so then they would vote for the weakest members. So uh, in Survivor Season 2, we had, we had, who do we have? We have Kobe, and then we had Keith, and we had Tina. So everyone did not like Keith, and Kobe, Tina was the weakest, and Kobe was the strongest. Kobe took Tina with him. And then they, and then they voted for Tina, and because Kobe kept voting people off because he was the strongest. Same with EDH, and that's the part I love most about it: is throw strategy aside, throw your deck, your optimal deck aside, just play with the cards, just have fun, play with the cards, and that's, in my opinion, why EDH is the best format. You don't need expensive cards, you don't even need a good strategy. You can be brand new to the game and still really enjoy it of the complex natures of interactions. Um, if someone's playing combo, and we know they're playing splinter twin combo, you can be sure that they are going to get hated out on, and they're going to leave very early on. But if someone's playing aggro, and do, it's different. So in my opinion, a player, I, I've seen a player have uh, mana problems, not play any cards, and then eventually win the game at the very end, like turn 45. And that is what I enjoy doing. That's what I had at my old local store, Groovy Geckos, and that's what I currently have at my home, which if you're lucky enough to get invited, uh, it's a great time. It's beer, it's pizza, it's uh, Chinese food, um, and obviously it is, uh, we drafted, what did we draft last night? We drafted Betrayers. That's why it's on top. Betrayers uh, of Kamigawa. Um, and the bat box was damaged, so I got it for a sale price. Betrayers is a lot of fun. That was high school to me. That was senior year. I can point at these sets and know exactly how old I was when I was playing it. And it just is a fantastic situation where you're playing EDH with your friends, you're drafting with your friends, and it's just super casual, super fun. Anyway, bye guys.